Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please and please subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. We love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Peter will be react as naked Nasarawa women stage protest over election. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter will be broken his silence after women from Nasarawa state protested over the outcome of a March 18 governorship election. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Governor Abdullahi Suley, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of a gubernatorial election. Angered by the outcome of the election, the women took to the streets to express their displeasure saying they didn't vote for Sule. The women frowned at INEC's declaration of Sule as the winner of the election when there was contention in the results that emanated from Gayam and Siroma electoral wards in the state's capital. In the video, some of the women wore black while protesting as others stripped completely naked and bitterly expressed their displeasure. Reacting to the development, Peter Obi via his Twitter page described the situation as heartbreaking, stating that women who should be respected and honored have been degraded. The former governor of Anambra State further reiterated its commitment to having 40% of women in its administration adding that the country must ensure that the people's mandate is not stolen from them. He said, I just came across a sad heartbroken video where Nasarawa women stage a topless protest as a means of registering their displeasure with the election results. The purpose of election is for citizens to participate in democratic governance through the representatives they elect, a grievance, a grievous injustice occurs when citizens are denied the opportunity to vote in a free, fair and credible process or their mandate is stolen from them. Our women, we should be honored and respected and their rights protected have been degraded and left to seek justice the only way they can trust by calling on their creator. I remain committed to 40% affirmative action for women in political appointments and will encourage the same in the corporate world. As a nation, we must do better and ensure that the mandate of the people is not stolen from them. You can I cannot post that video on this channel because of YouTube policies, obviously. But you can tell that you know those women actually are actually angered, like they are actually angered by the outcome of the election, seeing that there were a lot of controversies, you know, surrounding some certain uh local government areas concerning their results. These women totally came out naked, unashamed, just to, you know, express their displeasure concerning the outcome of the result. You can tell that obviously nobody voted for their, for this candidate that the INEC has announced. The candidate which the INEC announced is not the will of the people, is not who the people has voted for. But the INEC is insisting that, you know, that is who won the election. But we all know how this goes. Even the presidential election is riddled with uh, mutilation of results, non-transmittance of a result from each polling unit to the server. 
different different issues which the INEC haven't addressed and yet INEC still went on to announce the winner of that election and the inauguration date, the swearing in date is fast approaching. The case is in court, petition has been written. Finally, um the court the, the, the court finally has issued the petition, you know, to Buhari. They are trying to take they are trying trying to take a step on that already and we'll see where you know all this is going to go from here. But it's really I feel that in Nigeria it's high time that we stop all these all these things that we are doing. Like it's high time that you know the wish of the people finally comes to pass. It's high time that we, we start to see the reflection of the will of the people in election results it's not that people would, would vote for different people different person pardon me and at the end of the day i never will come out to announce another person entirely like we really need to find a lasting solution to the rigging in elections in nigeria even other countries are no longer finding it difficult to conduct an election like we do in this country because their ele- they are results are, you know, transmitted. Some other African countries that had their election last, last year, results were transmitted and you could see the results all over the world, wherever you are. You can tell, you know, how the election is is progressing. You can tell who is in the lead. You can tell who is overtaking. You know, all that. I feel that Nigeria, you, you know, we should, we, we, we should have, we, we, we should just go past, past this you know, we, are, we should be better by now, considering that we are being called the giant of Africa. Are we truly the giant of Africa, if, if you ask me? I don't think so. I feel that, you know, elections should no longer be a do or die affair. Something needs to be done about this. Something needs to be done. Because I've said this time to the number on this channel, if, for example, governors, if their salary is just... 200,000 naira a month and probably they have no security vote. I I am very certain that nobody will want to kill another person just to be in that position because how much is 200,000 naira? So it will be obvious that, you know, once you are vying for the post, you know that you are going there to work. You are not going there to reap anything. You are not going there to embezzle anything because your salary is just 200,000 naira. It is only, I am very sure that it is only you know, people who could not find job, people who had no other chance anywhere else that would, you know, want to go for any political post. I hope that Nigeria, you know, I know that, I hope that we get to that point someday where political offices are not a means, you know, to cash out for our politicians and our leaders. Let me have your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.